Hey guys, everything like Anna to you, and this is a request system test. Why change the main system and in the panel? Let's get started. <music> So, you see, got a little junction box, power junction box here with the BS. As you can see, I added some wire mill conduit. See right here, this is this is the this this can't not be covered because it's a programming cable for the panel. But yeah, the uh, programming cable for the panel. Here's the panel right here. As you can see, it's totally different. It's totally different. It has the um, it has it has the uh, what's it called the uh, 20 by 4 LCD As you can see it's very different got the indicators here it has the acknowledge button because now this has on supervision and power supervision so basically if I just get this, this power supply right down here a relay that monitors the power will tell that the other system is in trouble because we lost AC power, and since uh, I was redes redesigning this panel, the uh, piezo broke, so there's no piezo on this thing. So I can still acknowledge it, by the way. See, I can still do it. But yeah, so there's a zone, zone um, supervision relays. One of them takes a uh, 3.3k, and the other one takes a and the, the three. Uh, I think four. Three and one take four point four point seven k ohm. So yeah, so it is. There's power supervision and zone supervision. There's a little AC fault right down here on the on the board as well. So we'll plug this back in and shoot clear. And it did. See, it went back to AC power. Because the relay is sensing this power relay here is responsible for um, for sending the uh, this the uh, Trouble signal for the panel to let you know let to let know that there's no AC. The same thing with the zones of visions right here. The same with the zone uh, the zoning right here. The uh, I'm not gonna do it, but yeah, it's it's the same concept except it monitors the zones for the proving circuit for the resistor and all that. And it's very different now. You can see I redesigned it. So about that redesigning. There's no piezo still on it because, again, uh, I was re redesigning this panel a lot. Um, the piezo broke on it, so yeah. And there's the fuses there. So, anyway, let's put the dress panel back. So, yeah, back in there like that. Put the screw, hold it in there. So, yeah. There it is. So let's get let's get trying to let's get behind the devices. Uh, so, <clears throat> like I said, this is a request system test. Uh, since nobody uh, requested for the uh, FIC pull station, I still have my my uh, notifier BIG one TS. Requested by uh, ARA Productions. We have a simplex uh, twenty. Uh, I think it's a twenty ninety eight. 9636 with 92 open base. As you can see, also there is wire mold on the system as well. You can tell the same of this as well. So, yeah, the wires are now concealed now. Anyway, so we have a Wheelock 7002T. This one has the light in it, I put uh, requested by a DJI Fire Alarms. Uh, this is going to be on um, slow march. And since this is a horn light, we have a system tester SCWL remote strobe. <clears throat> we have the Siemens H, I think it's an HW, I forget the model, I think it's an HWRL, I think. 
So, you guys see, got some wire on. I will clear this up. I will uh, get rid of this. Uh, this is the only half print until I get some flat wire. But yeah, we have the junction box. Goes to right here. Goes to a. So I have a simplex point. I have four. Uh, 9101 uh, requested by 405080. And we have the heat detector uh, 5601P on the on wine roll back box now. So, yeah. So you can kind of see right there. So, yeah. Requested by uh, VR Ryan 6, we have a uh, uh, FCI MSX. Now she looks very different now you can see it has the acknowledge button. There will be a fire drill button soon. So yeah. And it says nobody requested the uh, strobe by the front door. We have a Siemens U dash MCSSW, which I don't know what Candela is saying is on it, so yeah. Also requested by uh also requested by ARA production. We have a uh simplex 298-98201 with the 9211 base. Anyway. So, yeah, so let's get going. Silence about the enunciator. Go ahead and reset the pole station. As you can see that was this problem is with that horn with this horn light it actually it's not zone three, it's zone one, but anyway. Get the idea. Let's see we'll well no, let's reset. Anyway, I think it takes two hands to reset this, I don't know. I think it does. Okay. Reset. It's not the heat after it's actually the pulsation, but uh, the thing glitches anyway. That's still a bug, but yeah. There's a uh, 20 by 4 in there. So now, I'll activate the uh, the um, the. 2098 9636. There goes. Silence that. You can see alarm. So now we'll go actually we're active reactivate. So as you can see now it's activated. So yeah. Let's re alarm the system while that clears. Activate the MS6. Yeah. There we go. Silence that. Reset the pulsation. Reset by no cedar. Not sure if the detector is going to go activate again because I didn't clear it, but probably will. Anyway. Get all the smoke before it activates again. But yeah. Now we'll do the uh, the 2989 which is right over here. There it goes. Okay. 
That's done. It's just normal now. Let that be the heat detector. So, yeah. that the thing was on was well, activated because the heat detector was activated so yeah so there's the heat detector here's the 4904 and the U-MCSSW if I walk it down the things will set on anyway so oh we're reset Doors are still bugs in the panel. I'll have to fix that, but yeah. But anyway, let's go do the walk test. I've done that in a while, and the walk test feature has been changed as well. So I gotta do this first. We got that. Put that continuous, and we'll put the walk test. And we know to put some dip switches here. Uh, four, two, and five for this right here for this. Uh, Voice the voice uh, module, and one will be walk test. So we'll wait and see if I put this to switch the one on. The trouble light should come on, and the LCD will say walk test mode activate any, any zone. As you can see, it's saying that right now walk test mode activate any zone. So we'll close that up and uh. Oh, I can reactivate the, uh, the MBG-10. Oh, I'm sorry, not the MBG-10, the B... Not the MBG-10, the uh, BNG-1TS. I should do it. Okay. Of course, I have to reset again, because... Since those, since the panel has latch relays, it won't... Uh, we'll not go back to normal until you reset the panel again. That's how it works. Because um, again, those in here are latching relays right here. You can see right there. Should, right, should go back to uh, walk testing a minute now. Should. There it goes. Okay. We'll do the. I mean, did it, it's, and also you may notice that the. Pulses are shorter now. Anyway. So, I'll test our 2998-9201. So I got the spot. Yeah, I do. That was two. So the indicate means indicates that means that I have zone two. So anyway. So yeah. I'll do all we'll do all the devices on walk test. What the heck? Who did the uh, 9636? That was one. NK is on one, you can see right here. So, yeah. Anyway. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and activate the heat detector again. This time I'm going to show 
the uh, remote indicator. There you go. That was zone three. You can know, was zone three and now and just as heat after automatically resets it starts off the uh, indicator. But yeah. So yeah. So we'll go ahead and we'll put off the walk test. Put the dress panel back on on the panel. Yeah, and we'll reset. So yeah, there it is, guys. And uh, yeah, see, so, yeah, I also had some conduit here around the chase, uh, some raceway. This I still have to fix, but yeah, and uh, yeah, so, so yeah. And uh, they also have labels too, as you can see there. Anyway, uh, that's it for uh, fire, alarm, fire Alarm System Test 12. Hope you guys liked it. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.